Uh, the sneaker room right now is chaos. <laughs> there is no actual order right now. When I moved, there was total order. I could show you where any sneaker was. Once I get everything established and correct up there, it will be like that again. It's just difficult to get back to that point because it got all jumbled up in the move and it just is what it is. I mean, I got to put it all back together and get it all correct. So. My name is Kenneth Gonzalez. Where I'm originally from is Long Beach, California, and now I reside in Highland, California. <laughs> what does Kenny G do? First off, I'm a family man. I take care of my family first. I own a kennel named Taylor Made Terriers. I, I play a lot of golf, and I would say 30, that's where the sneakers fall in. <laughs> Well, besides sneaker collecting, my actual business is San Manuel, and that is a bingo casino here in Highland, California. With the casino that we have, it enables the children to have a future. Uh, when I was about nine years old, when I saw by my mother that there was going to be an inheritance come along the way, and of course I never believed it. It's just a, a blessing to have sovereign nation and be able to look forward for our kids to have a future. The perfect pair. It started out as, as Montana, Spain. I don't think a lot of people understand that the whole Instagram thing. It's my wife's Instagram, it still is. It is not my Instagram. I don't even know the damn passcode to it. And she started posting up sneakers behind the door, sneakers in the bathroom, sneakers here, sneakers there, sneakers everywhere. I came to her one day, I was like, look baby, we gotta change this. So we changed it to Kenny and Montana. Still her Instagram. And then, you know, a couple months go by, I was like, no, we gotta change it again. So she came up with the name of The Perfect Pair. You know, I just find it funny because my wife is the one that actually put this name out there and she named it for us. It had nothing to do with sneakers or footwear or anything like that. It was the perfect couple, the perfect pair. I'm looking for gems. That's what I'm looking for. Close. We stay on the hunt for that. We like to get our sneaker shopping done before the weekend. We have a nice limousine driver named Chris who drives us. He knows the process, so pretty much he knows where to go. And by the time to go to Long Beach, he knows we're going to private. By the time to go to Diamond Bar, he knows we're going to Bait. For me, when I go inside these shops, I mean, I'm not necessarily looking for anything. So that's what makes it fun for me, is that it's just, you never know what's inside the shop. I still have a lot of those shoes that Lewis had from 97, 98, 99, 2000. The cool thing about that is I'm able to not walk on my brother's footsteps, but I'm able to make my own footsteps with my brother's memories. And that to me is Lewis still living. Lewis George Gonzalez III, commonly known as my brother, has played a, a huge inspiration in my life, which things he always instilled into me that our father never instilled into us because he was never around. My mom plays a key role in a lot of this because she obviously, she reared, you know, two boys and I think she did a damn good job, if you ask my opinion. It's not about what it's worth. It's about the values wait, wait, that you gain along the way. So you know what I mean? And a lot of people lose that. They lose that value. And for me, it's, I could care less what all these sneakers are worth. 
because honestly, I'm never going to resell them. I'm n they're not going anywhere. And they're going to be worn on my feet. Again, I'm going to say it again. They're going to be worn on my feet. In protecting sneaker culture, I mean, that obviously comes in education, awareness, and uh, the understanding of sometimes you just can't have what the next guy has. It, you know, just to me, knowing the, the back history on sneakers is what's going to, you know, transcend you forward into understanding of why you are wearing what you're wearing. People understood and had that knowledge. I think they would understand a little bit more about why we do what we do. Beyond being able to maybe one day work with a, a certain brand that you know says that the perfect pair can be branded onto a pair of sneakers, I would love for the perfect pair to be something that the kids can look up to and one day aspire to not be a person who collects a bunch of sneakers, but be, you know aspire to be a person who takes care of his family, family first, <laughs> just overall just tries to be a good person and not tries to bring down the next person or talk about that guy or talk about that guy. I'll say this, without my wife, there would honestly be no, no perfect pair. So it, it does help to get that kick in the ass every now and then. What's the color of this? Miami. See that? Oh, boss, I want that. This right here? Yeah, retail. This was, honestly, I got this pair for 400 and I got another pair for 300 What do you know about Rajan Ronda? That's his Christmas shoe. Oh, you got the So I got the one he bought in and I got the one he had on standby. Mm -hmm.